What's up everyone, this is Eflex here and welcome to another behind the scenes video. So this is the second behind the scenes video that I'll be doing. And of course, it's of the second song of the Diversity EP, which is Elevate. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about Elevate, kind of the backstory behind Elevate. Um, I'll break down certain things of the song, but um, a lot of it was not done on my end. So I'll try and break down as much as I can on my end as possible. And then I'll just kind of tie it into how it went in the Diversity EP and just some other fun facts and information about the song. So let's dive into Elevate. So Elevate is the second song that Maisong and I made after Sunrise. As I mentioned in the previous video, the Diversity EP goes in order of when which song we started. So we started Elevate, I think two weeks after making Sunrise, either one or two weeks. Um, it's been so long, I can't really remember, but I remember uh, Sunrise and Elevate, both these songs we made pretty fast. I know Sunrise either was a week or two and Elevate was about the same time. We made it in like a week or two. Um, as you can see here, the song is in 135. So after I made Sunrise with Maisong, he had made quite a few uplifting trance songs uh, before he was into down tempo. And I know he had more experience with um, melodic trance, I guess, or upbeat trance, uplifting trance. That's what it's called, uplifting trance. And I wanted to make an uplifting trance song because I was really into Armin Van Buren and um, a state of trance stuff for a good year or two. So I was really into uplifting trance and he had more experience making uplifting trance. So we decided to kind of make a trance song. But the reason why you see a bunch of uh, audio files here is because he had a little bit more experience making uplifting trance. I had no idea. So he kind of took the lead in this project, but um, he kind of paved the way for this song to be finished. I honestly will say I didn't do too much in the song. I give most of the credit to him. I feel like he made 80% of the song and I just added about 20% <laughs> of sounds into the song and like structure, but like this is pretty much the whole song. So breaking it down from what he sent me he sent me these audio files, the intro lead, the drums, the kick. And I can't attest to what synths he used for the intro lead, but I know he uses silence. So this sounds quite like a silent sound. Kind of like a silent pluck. And then this is the um, main lead that comes in later. That sounds like a silent sound as well. Um, the chords are pretty interesting. They're pretty big. Kind of like some, kind of like a saw wave kind of chords. Um, had a pad and then had a bass sound added into this so he pretty much structured most of the song and I kind of rearranged it in the best way I could but the things I added to the song is pretty much what I'll be going over is um I added my VFX and these VFX come from a vengeance pack um I know vengeance sample packs are really old and really overused but I used a vengeance sample pack and I use these sounds in a lot of my um, songs, kind of as transitionary sounds. So if you recognize them, like this is the clap. And then I have a reverse. And then I have white noise. So I have these three um, VFX and I normally have these three VFX in a lot of my songs because I kind of like the transition sounds it gives a little bit more of an impact when you're transitioning into a song um, another way I normally do transitions too is you might see my other songs I do a 
reverse and regular symbols. So I do a reverse symbol and then a regular symbol right next to it. So then it kind of reverse crash symbol. So it gives it like a nice kind of transition. And then um, the plucks, which I think um, are pretty instrumental in this song because I didn't realize I added these sounds until I opened up this project again. But uh, this MIDI is written by Maison that he sent me, but I put it into my Dyke Pike Sound Nexus 2, and it's in the pluck section, Dyke Pikes. I use Dyke Pikes a couple times before. It's a really good sound, really good preset in Nexus. I believe I have the reverb and delay on. Yes, I do. Okay. And then if you just listen to it, it just kind of is like a nice low pluck. So... So basically it's filtering up through the volume and it's slowly going up. And I think Maison in the final version of the song, he uh, added a filter to it. But if you take out the plucks, like it actually makes a huge difference. I didn't realize. Like you notice there's nothing really building up as when you add the plucks in. Yeah, it gives us this um, another layer um, to kind of build upon before the drop occurs. So when the drop occurs, it's mostly Maison sounds. Um, I added some side chain on my own just to kind of get a general feel of um, what it was happening in the drop section. So the kick and the um, sounds could, you know, side chain and have a little more room to play in. But uh, the next section that I guess really impacted the song is the kind of break section or halftime section I'd like to call it and this drum pattern is a drum pattern I use in a lot of halftime sections that I do in my own personal songs I do this in drum and bass I do this in my electronic songs I do it here in trance sometimes I even do it in house songs <laughs> like it's just basically a kick and then a kick on one and then a kick on I think the third, yeah, so like the 66.4.3, so kind of like on the third of the, um, was the note section? Like a whole note, it's like a third of a whole note almost, so to speak. So it gives you this kind of um, rhythm. And then um, this is uh, some of the sounds that I use for my percussion. And like, so I had like a snare from Vengeance, a kick, some snare, this clap sound, and um, hi-hat, jingle, the hi-hat, jingle, beep, um, and clap sound. They're sounds I've used since um, I started producing found those um, sounds on the very first tutorial I watched um, trying to learn how to use Ableton. So that was the first sounds that I had and I use them in a lot of projects, if not every project. But that this is kind of like the half tempo, half time, dubstep -y, I guess, type kind of percussion. So. So that's how it's made. So I have the uh, snare and the snare on the thirds, yeah, on the third, and then have just kind of like a couple hi-hats playing. So it kind of gives it some rhythm. And then have like a cymbal on the bottom. So it gives it like a little more of a 
kind of like a more emphasized hit in the drum percussion and that's pretty much it it's pretty much the same um, sounds as the first drop um, but I just put it in a half time before it goes back to being four on the floor kicks <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much the majority of the stuff I added into this song as well as my riser. And then I think towards the end is when it changes a little bit. Okay, so in the actual song on Maison's end, he added that kind of uplifting outro part. I think he added it and we talked about it via chat and he sent it to me and I it sounded cool to me so I just said roll with it but basically this is kind of my behind the scenes of what Elevate was as I said previously I didn't do too much with the song I added a few sounds and then added the halftime section but for the most part I gave Maison more creative control because he had more experience making uplifting trance. So that's just kind of how it goes with the song. Overall, the song was uh, a cool song. Um, it's probably lower in my rankings, just personally for me in the diversity EP, because I didn't contribute too much to the song. So I don't like it's my song, but I didn't do too much. So I don't really take too much credit for making the song. Uh, I kind of feel like it's a Maison song with uh, a few things from me, but that's just kind of how this collab um, went about. So can't complain too much, but apparently this the, f the first three songs, which is Sunrise, Elevate, and Traverse, those are like the songs with the most views on Argo Fox, which is quite surprising to me because I thought it would be Seaside, but... I'll get more into that when I do the review behind the scenes video of Seaside. So overall, this is Elevate. Um, this was a really cool addition to the Diversity EP since we were going for five different genres that we didn't even plan for. We just were like, let's try five diff making different genres of songs and try something different. And this was kind of like a dream come true for me, making uplifting trance and having an uplifting trance song which is super upbeat and stuff. So that I can't complain about. Just, um, I hope you guys learned something from this because um, I didn't make a lot of the sounds and um, there's only a few things I did. So most of the sounds came from Maison. So hopefully there was something you could learn from this behind the scenes video. But anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video and there will be more behind the scenes videos coming out in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Alright, have a good one guys. Peace.